But at this time of the year, News Centre 6 receives all kinds of strange reports and today has been no exception. Jeff Russell reports that an anonymous cameraman from Halls Gap has today released what could be the very first television pictures of the much talked about Grampians Puma. For over 40 years, rumours have circulated across Western Victoria that black pumas are alive and well in the Grampians. A well-known story suggests American servicemen in the area at the end of World War II were ordered to dispose of their two puma mascots. Instead of sending them to the Melbourne Zoo, the pumas were released into the Grampians. Since then, many locals have reported sightings, but it was not until today that News Centre 6 was given anonymously the first television pictures of what's reported to be the Grampians puma. Although the picture quality is poor, an image of what appears to be a large cat can be seen on the tape. Ballarat Wildlife Officer with the Department of Conservation, Forests and Lands, John Clements, believes pumas living in the Grampians would have no trouble surviving. Living on uh, wallabies, kangaroos, emus, uh, we've known about them for a long time. Allegedly servicemen uh, released these animals during World War II. Well, meet Sooty. He's not a very well-trained cat. He's not a very well-travelled cat. In, in fact, he's never been to the Grampians. But one thing I have taught him is never believe everything you see, especially on April Fool's Day. Strangely, Jeff, we're now getting reports of panthers around Creswick. Uh, they've been there for a year or two. We know uh, lions up around Maryborough. Uh, it seems as though we're in for a real epidemic. <laughs> and you have to follow that story too. Shane, uh, Ballarat Mechanic has plans to carry off a major off-road buggy championship. Yes, Craig, unlike Jeff Russell, Mark Burrows is trying to better his performance of last year and take out his fourth Australian title. All the details after this break in News Centre 6.